Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Friary. Today is a very special episode because we're celebrating our 100th episode. So what we're doing today is we're going to highlight all of your favorite episodes or at least those ones that had the most like, comments, shares and things like that. So let's get right into it. so thankful because you all watch this you know faithfully every week uh you're you're liking you're commenting you're subscribing and we really appreciate you and 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 doing that um, at the end of the show we're gonna celebrate with some oreo uh cookie cake that somebody gave us and then do a little review of it as as we do all all the time when we started this uh outside the friary uh it was during covid time so we wanted to make uh, these shows uh, to, to help us kind of endure uh, the quarantine and all of that. And one of the first helpful ones we did during quarantine was uh, five helpful, helpful tips to, uh, to improve our prayer life. So, you know, that was a really good one. Yeah, there was a lot of comments. People said that this really assisted them in their day-to-day uh, -day prayer, especially when they were at home, they weren't going to work and all that that it was an opportunity for them to get closer uh, to the Lord. And so Father John Paul did a very special episode for us of how a priest prepares to do a stream mass. You know, one thing is that, you know, this of course was, was, was a very difficult time and uh, even a very sad time. You know, there were some of us who had relatives who, you know, had to be in the hospital, who became very sick and even passed. Uh, you know, even my own father died, my grandmother died of COVID. Um, since we couldn't go into the hospitals, uh, we, uh, we, we did a blessing outside the hospitals. And this was what the, with the Blessed Sacrament. So Father John Paul, you know, we, we drove to uh, the different uh, uh, hospitals in the Birmingham area. And then he went out of the car and did uh, a blessing with the Blessed Sacrament and, and blessed everyone in the hospital. So we were, we were happy to, to pray for everyone uh, at that time. Um, but then, you know, once the, the quarantine lifted here in Alabama, the governor said that, you know, now barbershops could open. So, <laughs> yeah. so like if you remember, our hair had gone really long and some of our beards had grown uh, you know, long and things. And so our barber, he came to give us a haircut here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was yeah. one of the, my favorites. You know, most people already believe I'm handsome, but when Rick comes, it enhances it even more. Another thing we, we highlighted and which, which you all liked and appreciated was how we recreate. You know, uh, uh, one one of uh, uh, one one of one of the ways we recreate is of course working outside, and Father Joseph uh, does this best. Now he grew up as a farmer, so we had a couple of episodes on his garden, and then uh, you know uh, some of us uh, like Father Joseph, but for Brother John, he plays a guitar. For Brother John, spoke about his uh, guitar hobby and. You know, told us all about how he started with that and the kind of music he liked. I shared with you some of my recreation and I made a lesson out of it. You know, we had this episode called Persevering to Win. And there, um, you know, I showed you what, how I exercise, you know, doing, um, uh, go, going out there and pushing the sled, uh, doing some boxing, doing some, some walking. And we go back to uh, uh, Father Pascal. Uh, we, we also uh, featured his sewing room and Father Pascal, he, he loves to do arts and crafts. He's in charge of the sewing room, uh, building, I, I mean, making our habit. And, uh, you know, we started that episode because I had burned my habit. Right. <laughs> I had burned the back of it. It got burned, it was a big burnt mark. And, uh, you know, just so you know, <laughs> is that yesterday I got my habit caught on a, on a knob and I tore it on the side. So you got some more work for you. <laughs> yeah. In this last two years, uh, we, we traveled to about five places doing outside the Friary episodes. Uh, one of the first places we went to was Los Angeles. And there we uh, were able to go to the USC uh, Catholic uh, Caruso Center. 
Uh, we talked to Father Richard uh, Sun Wu. He gave us a tour of, uh, of the center and the, and the church. Uh, also on that trip, uh, we, we of course ate a lot of good food, uh, but we went up to San Diego to visit uh, Father Simon, the, the TikTok famous priest. Uh, we also went to the uh, studios, in, uh, EWTN studios in Orange, California, and took a tour of it. Uh, there we met up with um, uh, Richie, the founder of Catholic Connect, and Gia, the founder of March for the Martyrs, uh, two wonderful uh, organizations doing great things online. Um, and then we also met uh, with, uh, with Sherry Ballinger, who is a, a former actress and model, now TV producer. Um, you know, and then uh, not too long ago, we went to Maryland. And the purpose for going, really the purpose for going to Maryland is because we closed our house down that was near the seminary. And that was, uh, of course, a very sad thing for us. And the reason why we had to do this is because we're not really getting any vocations. But, but there, you know, we were able to go to uh, see Mount St. Mary Seminary, the place where we went to school and all of that. We also visited uh, Father Pastor Merlino, who's in the inner city uh, parish in Baltimore. Um, then we went to the Basilica, um, in, in Baltimore, where we met Father James, one of our classmates. He gave us a, a tour of everything. And also on that trip, we went to DC, Washington, DC. And there we saw the uh, EW10 DC News Studios, and Father Patrick gave us a tour of it. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. Um, and then, uh, not too long after, uh, we went to Boston, and there I did uh, a retreat uh, for a group out there for uh, Queen of Peace Radio, and the retreat was focused on um, on healing, and it was uh, for uh, the staff, the employees of the radio station, and also for their listeners. Uh, and then just this past year, uh, you know, what do we do? Remember? So I was, I've been <laughs> yeah. doing these Filipino yeah. events so over time. You know, so many Filipinos mm -hmm. <laughs> come and watch and are encouraging. So I was able. There was a community that came from Las Vegas that uh, came on pilgrimage to the shrine. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, telling them about, and they said, well, you should come to ours. Yeah. <laughs> and so I said, well, I, I would love to go to Las Vegas, but I need someone to come with me. Yeah. So I asked if Father Leonard and we went to see the community there at, in the Filipino community for their celebration of the Santo Nino yeah. de Cebu. So it was really lovely, really yeah. good people. So. And we had some delicious Filipino food. Uh, and then I got to see, uh, uh, to have Raiders. a tour of the Raiders Stadium, Alagante yeah. Stadium. The Raiders are my team, so that was, a, that, was, that was a very exciting thing to do. I mean, I was so thrilled to go and go out to the field and everything else. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but we share with you some very amazing stories, miraculous stories. And one of them was uh, told by Father John Paul. And this was a story of how uh, the first satellite was installed and the miracle that came forth from it. Also here, we gave you a tour of our house of studies and Father Joseph uh, conducted it, but he told us about how we received the money. And then, you know, we had a celebrity come our way and he shared with us his personal testimony and what he's doing. And this is Jonathan Rumney, who, who plays Jesus on The Chosen. So uh, he was here, he, he was inside the friary, we gave him an interview, and it, just, a, just a wonderful man. So, so generous with his time and talents, and so it was a pleasure to have him. And of course, some of our more popular uh, inside, outside the friaries are involving food. We've, we've, we've took you into the friary kitchen. You know, we've, we've made recipes with a cook Porsche, even myself, a few of the other uh, friars. Um, but then we went to restaurants and one of the most popular ones was the fish sandwich. When we did that review, who had the best, best fish sandwich? And the winner is Wendy's. Wendy's, every year. Every, every year, time. Wendy's is the best and no one has able, been able to top it, so. The most popular food video was the one we did, and it was our first one. And that's when we went to the taco truck. That yeah. was really great. Yeah. The tripas and yeah. Yeah, yeah, carne great. asada. We had al pastor tacos. Al pastor. Yeah, it was yeah. A do, dos hermanos. It's a, dos hermanos. Yeah, it's yeah a, that's what it is. Yep, it was a truck nearby. And, and I have to say, you know, uh, coming from East LA, 
Uh, that that was good. That was high quality uh, tacos there, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, so yeah yeah we uh, of course we we're celebrating today then and we have um, speaking of food we're gonna celebrate with this Oreo cookie cake here. Look at that. Wow. Look at this here. You know we're gonna have some ice cream cake and we're gonna do a little review. So uh, here you go. Here's a plate for you. Thank you. Fork. We should have got a spork, you know, the, yeah, the spoon, that would spork be things. Yeah, we didn't have any, so Too bad. so let's let's cut it here. And uh, is that a good size for you oh, there, yeah, Father that's Pasco? Right. Okay. Tasty. We get get some tasty tasty ice cream cake there. Okay, there you go. Oh look at my cutting is not too that's good. That's all right. All right, so I'll get a piece there too, about the same size. There you go, look at that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Cheers. To a hundred more. To a hundred more. Hmm. Mm. Creamy. I like this particular cake. You know, you can, it's got a lot of cookie in it. So you got the the frozen cream that is very identical to the cream inside an Oreo, mm -hmm. but they made it into ice cream. So it's just not like all vanilla, but it, it gives you that strong, distinct flavor of the Oreo cookie cream. And then it's covered with cookies. So it's just like eating a frozen Oreo, man. Yeah. Well, the, the, te the texture is good mm -hmm. because you have, like you say, you got some cookie particles in there. Too. Yeah. Man. I could go for this. Yeah. Mm. We appreciate you very much. You know, one of our our more popular shows that we didn't mention was a Q&A we did a, uh, about a year or two ago. And we want to do that again. So we invite you to, to ask questions. If you have any questions for us, you know, how we're living, what we do, uh, how we pray, you know, anything, please uh, put that in the comment section. And at the end of this month, uh, we will have a Q and A uh, video episode session again. Yeah. yeah, it'd be good too if tell us which was your favorite videos or the highlights you mm -hmm. you really loved. Yeah, but uh, we're just we're just really grateful to hear from you as well, and and but to be with you and in, in in this way and with our inside and outside the Ferrari that. We really do uh, love you. We we don't always get to see you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but to be with you and uh, to minister to you in this way is beautiful. Yeah. So uh, so we thank you once again for watching, supporting us. Uh, you know that there's much love for you. We're always praying for you all. So please keep watching. Uh, tell all your friends about this. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time. Um, May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.